Uh, today, I want to talk to you about why I like to do 3D printing for my buildings and my things I design. Even in my robotics, I did this. I like printing flat. And what I mean by printing flat is, I mean, it's like, it's like the old days and monogram revel. I'm sure if you guys are old enough, you probably remember those days where you have the um, mold injected parts and then you pull them off the tree with a pair of spruces or, you know, nippers. And then you, before you, at, before you, before you put them together, you would spray paint them while they were on the tree. And then sometimes you would touch them up and then sand them down with files. And you got some really nice looking models, uh, cars, planes, uh, ships, all kinds of cool stuff. And I thought to myself, why are we going into full body prints where we don't build them anymore, but they're just like printed out? And I know from experience, and you may agree with me on this or not, but that when you print a full object, whether it be a robot body or something like that, you're going to have supports. And if you don't have the supports in the right place, whether it be resin or uh, PLA, it's going to create sagging. A line can only handle so much heat and so much distance before it's going to sag. I've seen a lot of these buildings where people just don't care sometimes, and they just go ahead and just print them out, beautiful, everything else, and don't really care about the sagging or the extra stuff. And then here's the other thing I want to bring up. You ever realize how hard it is to take something that's fully assembled, 